All right, welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, Laravel localization and how to make a uh, website made in Laravel multilingual. Um, we're going to dive right into it. All right, here we go. So I'm not going to cover um, how to install Laravel uh, projects. I assume you already know how to install one. Um, I'm only going to touch the um, localization thing. Okay, and step number one will be creating a new route uh, that will handle our newly selected language um, and will store it in a session. So um, when you go over to routes and the web.php file, um, here you can define all your needed routes in your project so we're going to quickly copy this and i'm going to call it lang uh, and then slash the whoops slash and the um, locale that we need to use as a variable so we can um, actually use the locale valuable variable in our function so I'm going to add it to the function as well and then we're going to use uh, session put we have to uh, need to put it to our session um, under the variable locale like this after that we're going to redirect um, just back to the same page that we to the page that we came from and I forgot the semicolon right here okay so that was all for step number one now we're going to step number two uh, step number two is um, we're going to create a middleware so we open up our terminal and we just um, use the artisan command um, make whoops make um, we're actually making a middleware so make middleware uh, space uh, localization just like that this will create a new file for us um, down here whoops an app um, HTTP middleware we have this newly created file localization this is pretty empty right now right now um, for starters we're going to add use app um, then we're going to um, in the handle function we're going to make sure the session that we've set um, is being set to our uh, application with set locale so we're going to um, create an if structure and check if the session has so we use session has um, a variable called locale. If this is correct, so if this returns a true, we need to set the locale in the app just by um, using app set locale. And then we're going to um, use the session that we have with the get function of the session of the locale this will be whoops locale this will set our um, stored locale that we have in our session to the app so that was it for step number two um, now we're going to step number three where we have to add our newly created uh, middleware to our middleware groups so just going to save this file when we open up the kernel.php in the middleware group, I just have to check right here. The middleware group um, is actually a, a group of middlewares that needs to be f um, executed on every page load. Um, so for this example, we have if this uh, is a web route, um, we're executing encrypt cookies, start session, uh, verify CRF token, uh, and stuff like this. So we're actually going to add our own uh, middleware that we've created so it is an um, app um, HTTP
uh, middleware. And then we have our uh, localization middleware that we've created and it's a class. So by adding this also our localization will be run with every um, redirect or every page load that we're executing in our project. Okay, so now we're going to step number four. Um, in step number four we'll be creating um, the actual translations for our project. So when we go down to our resources folder, uh, we have a folder called lang. In there we have a default language uh, folder called en, of course for English, with some uh, files uh, like auth, paganization, um, passwords and validation. Um, these are um, yeah, pre-built language files. So, so what I like to do is I like to create my own custom language file. So I'm just going to save this one into a new file, just called custom lang. Whoops, it's already late. Um, custom lang.php. So just going to create here uh, to call this um, a custom custom language. Oh, okay, it's already custom language lines going to get rid of all this there we go so for example I'm going to create an, um, a welcome message in English this is welcome I'm going to also introduce an um, choose lang with a simple sentence of uh, choose your language just like that um, and we're going to delete all the rest in here. So, okay, so that's all uh, for this language. Now we're going to actually make a copy of this um, EN folder. Um, so I'm going to open up um, my folder structure here. I'm going to navigate the resources lang EN. I'm going to copy this and call it NL for, for Dutch. Um, so, and in this custom language, I'm just going to translate this into my own language just like this. So now we have two language folders with translation files for each language, um, which brings us to step number five. So in step number five, we're going to create, um, actually we're going to adjust the um, already uh, pre-built um, page that you've seen in the beginning of this video. And we're going to introduce those language file structures. So when we go over to uh, views and welcome.blade, we have our little app that we seen already. So I'm just going to get rid of all these buttons and I'm going to, um, okay, so I'm going to use the um, uh, syntax that we need is actually an um, double underscore between brackets we're going to set a uh, custom lang is actually our custom language file welcome so this will uh, actually give us the welcome string that we have for each language so when the locale is set to english we have welcome like this and we set to dutch we have welcome like this so i'm going to put in um, a paragraph here with another translation custom lang dot uh, choose lang and I forgot the quotes custom lang dot choose lang this will actually give our um, sentence that we uh, also predefined kizutal of choose a language okay um, the, for the links I'm just going to set this like this the two languages that we have and we're actually going to set these links to our predefined uh, routes that we have here lang slash the wanted locale so for for en for english we're going to write lang slash en for dutch we're going to write lang dot uh, lang slash 
NL. Now, if everything went well, I'm going to refresh this page. Oh, I have an issue here. Uh, custom lang dot choose lang. I'm going to check what I did wrong. Um, okay, I had a typo in here and also here. So this is fixed. Um, okay, when I open this back up. Okay, so I have welcome, choose your lang, uh, choose your language. We also can see um, here in the bottom that we have lang slash the wanted translation. So if I hit this button, nothing happens. Well, I obviously did something wrong. Uh, just give me a second. Okay, so the issue um, was something very small, but very stupid. Um, instead of writing locale, I wrote uh, locale, which obviously wouldn't work because locale is known. Um, so when I change this to locale um, and go back to my browser and I refresh, I have the chosen language right here. So I can easily switch between languages right now. So that's actually it. So it's not so much work to make a website in Laravel multilingual. So, so I have one more bonus for you guys. Um, if you want to add a um, variable to uh, one of those strings, like for example, I want uh, welcome bird instead of just welcome, um, we can do this uh, by adding a variable to our translation. So in our translation is going to add open custom lang again we have welcome and we just write column and the variable name in this case I'm going to use user also in the other language column user and save this um, and now when we go to the view we have custom lang dot welcome so we're actually going to add something uh, at the end. So we're going to add an array to it uh, with one um, value user, with one value user, um, and we're going to give it uh, my name, Bert. Uh, this array contains one item. Um, the key is user, so the variable name, and the value is my name. This will be passed to the um, language file and will be added to the string. So, so it's actually quite easy to add variables to translations. I hope I showed you some something new today. Um, if you have any questions um, or suggestions for new videos, write them down below. I'll get onto it as quick as possible. Um, and one more thing, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it. Um, and if you have any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as possible in the comments down below. Thank you.